Hey guys, today a video featuring methods of how to obtain money in the game. This video will feature 6 methods total, 2 for the early game, 4 for the mid game. The early game ones can be done within the first 15 minutes of gameplay, however obviously provide less money. So for the first method we can start in the nameless village and we will get a treasure chest which is behind here. Now what you do is you start a manual battle, you wait for everyone else to go away first, destroy the firewood pile, you can then retreat and you can open this chest either with a bronze key or if you have a machinery skill and you will obtain a treasure map. Now on this next up you need a shovel this field already has a shovel, so you can just grab it, alternatively buy one. And now we can go to the Lost Forest. Now if you go to this back area, then a bit up, a cutscene will start, where your character will dig up the treasure start digging, you see I need an iron shovel, that's why we got it. And you will gain some money. Now in this case, due to me having a trade granting 10% more money, I get 1650. Normally you gain 1500 coin. Okay, next up we have the tea stall treasure map. First of all, to unlock the tea stall, you start from the nameless village, head to the northwestern corner, roughly, like you just head up, and you will uncover the cross hill. Then you simply enter the cross hill, go up here, and you're going to be at the tea stall. Now we are a bit early, so we'll meditate a bit, and we'll wait for this gloomy vagabond. He will introduce himself. Now next up you want to gift him some gifts to get his relation to 100 and then an event will take place. In this case he will be pursued by some bailiffs, you will help him out Now once you have completed the battle, he will reward you, in this case with three secret treasure maps. And now we'll take a look at where you can get those rewards. Now for the maps, you will again need a shovel to dig it up. So in this case we are in Shushin City, we can go to the grocery store and then buy some iron shovels. So we got enough. There you go, we can buy all of them and we'll use them. So we start in Shusheng City, we go down to the mine pond, which is just heading down here, then moving around a bit and you will see the cutscene. Now, important fact is if you dig up the treasure during the daytime, you will be ambushed by some guards, by some bailiffs. If you do it during the nighttime, you will not be ambushed. As such, I would recommend it that you do it during the night time. Like just meditate a bit, wait till it's actually night time, like 11 p.m. Dig up the treasure. And you can see we got a lot of different rewards, including in this case 11,000 coin normally you get 10,000. Now next up we have the treasure map in Linan city. You can see where I am. We will go to this forest shrine. So you head right next to the forest shrine, dig up the place and you will obtain some more rewards in this case and again 10,000 coin. Last but not least in Daliang city we are right next to the imperial school. We will go down here into this corner and it will be triggered as well. Now in 
this case we have triggered the daytime ambush because we did not do it during the night time. And we've obtained the last treasure. In total you will obtain roughly 30,000 coins and such money you will obtain a scrap silver, gold and some uh, items you can give to NPCs. Now for the mid-game method. One of the best methods to obtain money is by gambling. For example in the casino in Dalian City. Now we can simply head in play dice and I prefer to roll or uh, to select the small value which means the dice total has to be 10 or less you could also go for big but I prefer small simply due to it being closer to the skip button and you just bet you can actually and that's quite important re-roll dice for example this would have been 11 we can click on the dice to re-roll it and now it's 10 and we can continue on. Now it may be worth not going fully all in as such I cannot win all too much if I go all in so you can do partial values as well. This is too high, 11, perfect date. And we have won or obtained 120,000 coin. As such this is a premier method to obtain a lot of money. Besides the casino in Daliang city, there is also a casino in Linan city. Now another really w good way to obtain money is via the auctions at the night auction market. You want to sell legendary materials, mostly wood and the metals. They accumulate the most wealth. Now in this case we're gonna sell a piece of 1000 years black iron, we will pay 1000 when to join the auction. Now we can simply fast forward by always clicking abandon and let's look at how much money we will get with a single material. Now if you have unlocked the back mountain in your homestead it's very simple to get these materials. So this is our material or our item we are selling and as you can see the bits are already at 49,000 so it's bought for 49,223 when however they will get a 10% cut but due to good fortune trade we get a bit more but as you can see we got 44 to 48,000 money for a single item and this can be done every single day. Now the third method is to marry girls. In particular there are three girls you can marry which grant you money. For example we have Princess Fuching which gives you the Princess Allowance trade or rather she has the trade and you will obtain the Royal Son-in-Law trade. You will have Yan Ruo with know how to make money and then the Lady Ding now what they do in particular is at 11 p.m. you will gain money. So currently we have 1,813 guan. If we roll over to 11 p.m. we have 1,824. You can even see it in the chat log where we gain the different amounts of money. So we have just obtained 11 guan or 11,000 gold by simply being around. Now you can meditate for a long time or just play the game normally. You can see again 24 and we hit 11 p.m. Now we have 34. You get this money daily. As such, marrying rich is also a very viable option. Now the last option and which grants a lot of money is abusing the legendary auction which is a one-time event only auction. 
you will get a pigeon letter stating that the auction will be held after clearing the troubles in the three city emissions from the nine factions act. In this case the auction will be held in three days, so we will fast forward a bit. Now we at the auction place, it will be held in a few minutes. Now notice we have 1024 money, there you go. The time passed, we have 1024 won. Now you can re-roll these items by quick saving and loading before the auction, but we don't care that much. Now the item you want to auction is either a piece of legendary equipment or a legendary manual. In this case I will auction the sun burning sky technique. And we will let the auction run. In this case, because we have um, paid 5000 to enter with 1019. First we'll skip all of these. And now, when your item is being sold, you will enter combat manually and kill all the people present. Due to it being an event auction, no one is really going to get mad at you besides a loss of benevolence and righteousness, but that can easily be reobtained. There you go, we killed all of them. Now interestingly enough this will also skip the 9 faction event battle afterwards. But you can see we are now at 3938 guan. So we've obtained almost 2000 guan. So a lot of money. However this is a one time thing only, the event only occurs one time. Also, we have obtained the different items, for example, you saw these were sold at the auction. We've also obtained them as we killed the people who bought them. And that's the last method.